The universe is a vast and mysterious place. It holds countless wonders. Some of these wonders are hidden from our view. Others reveal themselves only once in a lifetime. Every 500 years, a celestial event graces our skies. It's a cosmic dance so rare, so awe-inspiring, that it has captivated humanity for millennia. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to witness the extraordinary. This is not just a show of celestial mechanics. It's a spectacle that has shaped our understanding of the cosmos. It has inspired countless myths and legends. The last time this event occurred, Copernicus was mapping the heavens. Leonardo da Vinci was painting his masterpieces. The world was a vastly different place. Yet, the same stars that shone down on them will shine down on us. Imagine the vastness of space. Imagine planets, those wanderers of the night sky, aligning in a rare celestial dance. This is not science fiction. This is the Grand Conjunction, a celestial alignment of Jupiter and Saturn. These gas giants will appear so close together that they will almost seem to touch. Get ready to witness a celestial event that connects us to the past, present, and future. Let the countdown begin. The Grand Conjunction. This name evokes a sense of grandeur, of something truly magnificent, and rightfully so. This celestial event involves the two largest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn. These gas giants, each a world unto itself, will appear to converge in our night sky. But what exactly is a conjunction? In astronomy, a conjunction occurs when two celestial objects appear close together in the sky from our vantage point on Earth. It's an illusion of perspective, of course. In reality, these celestial objects are millions of miles apart. Yet, their apparent closeness creates a breathtaking spectacle. The Grand Conjunction is a special kind of conjunction. Their conjunction is a sight to behold. They are like celestial dancers, waltzing across the cosmos over time. Every 20 years or so, their cosmic dance brings them into a conjunction. But the 500-year conjunction is special. During this time, Jupiter and Saturn will be so close that they will almost seem to merge into a single brilliant star. The last time this celestial ballet graced our skies was in 1524. The world was a vastly different place then. The Renaissance was in full swing. Explorers were charting new territories, and the world was on the brink of scientific and cultural revolutions. Imagine, if you will, the world of 1524. Nicholas Copernicus was challenging the geocentric model of the universe, proposing instead that the Earth revolves around the Sun. Leonardo da Vinci, a true Renaissance man, was painting the Mona Lisa, a masterpiece that continues to captivate us today. Martin Luther was igniting the Protestant Reformation, forever changing the religious landscape of Europe. The world was a place of discovery, upheaval, and transformation. And amidst all this change, the Grand Conjunction shone brightly in the night sky. What did people think as they gazed upon this celestial wonder? We can only speculate. Now, you might be wondering, how can I witness this celestial spectacle? You're in luck. The Grand Conjunction is not a one-night-only event. It's a celestial performance that unfolds over several days. Look to the southwestern sky after sunset. There, you'll find Jupiter the larger and brighter of the two planets. Saturn, with its distinctive rings, will appear slightly fainter and closer to Jupiter. You won't need a telescope to witness this celestial dance, but if you have binoculars, use them. You'll be able to see the four largest moons of Jupiter. You might even catch a glimpse of Saturn's rings. The best time to view the Grand Conjunction is during the week leading up to the closest approach. That's when Jupiter and Saturn will be closest together in the sky. But even after the closest approach, you'll still be able to see these gas giants putting on a show. Light pollution can be a real buzzkill when it comes to stargazing. So, if you really want to experience the full glory of the Grand Conjunction, head to a dark sky location. Finally, let's not forget about the weather. You'll need clear skies to see the Grand Conjunction. Section 5 Decoding the Celestial Mechanics We've talked about the what and the when of the Grand Conjunction. Now, let's delve into the why. Why do Jupiter and Saturn appear to meet in our sky every 20 years? 
And why is this particular conjunction so special? It all boils down to orbital mechanics. Jupiter and Saturn, like all planets in our solar system, orbit the Sun. Jupiter, being closer to the Sun, completes an orbit in about 12 years. Saturn, on the other hand, takes about 29 and a half years to complete its orbit. Now imagine these planets as runners on a track. Jupiter, the speedster, zips around the inner lane. Saturn, the steady plotter, takes a more leisurely pace on the outer lane. Every 20 years or so, Jupiter laps Saturn. From our vantage point on Earth, this lapping appears as a conjunction. The two planets appear close together in the sky. But here's the catch. Jupiter and Saturn don't orbit the Sun on a perfectly flat plane. Their orbits are slightly tilted. Imagine our racetrack is now slightly warped. This means that Jupiter and Saturn don't always align perfectly during their conjunctions. The 500-year conjunction is special because it's a great conjunction. During a great conjunction, Jupiter and Saturn are not only in conjunction, but also at their closest points to Earth in their respective orbits. Section 6. Celestial Folklore – Myths and Legends of the Grand Conjunction Throughout history, celestial events have captivated the human imagination. The Grand Conjunction, with its rarity and brilliance, is no exception. Across cultures and throughout time, this celestial alignment has been woven into myths, legends, and prophecies. In ancient Babylon, the Grand Conjunction was associated with the deity Marduk, the king of the gods and the patron deity of Babylon. The conjunction was seen as a time of great upheaval and change, but also a time of renewal and rebirth. In ancient China, the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn was known as the Emperor Star and was associated with the destiny of the Emperor and the fate of the Empire. Astrologers carefully observed the conjunction, believing that its appearance and position in the sky held great significance for the ruling dynasty. And of course, there's the Star of Bethlehem. This celestial beacon guided the wise men to the birthplace of Jesus in the biblical story. While the exact nature of the Star of Bethlehem is still debated, some astronomers believe that it may have been a grand conjunction. Section 7. Echoes in Time Celestial Events and Humanity Celestial events like the Grand Conjunction are more than just astronomical phenomena. They are reminders of our place in the cosmos. They are events that have shaped our understanding of the universe and our place within it. They have inspired scientific discoveries, sparked artistic creativity, and woven themselves into the fabric of our cultures. The appearance of comets, for example, was once seen as a harbinger of doom and disaster. Now, we understand them to be icy remnants from the formation of our solar system. They offer valuable clues about the early solar system. The tracking of planetary movements allowed ancient civilizations to develop sophisticated calendars. These calendars regulated agriculture and religious practices. The study of the stars led to the development of astronomy, which has revolutionized our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The Grand Conjunction, like other celestial events, invites us to look up, to marvel at the wonders of the universe, and to contemplate our place within the grand scheme of things. Section 8. Beyond the Grand Conjunction, Upcoming Celestial Events the Grand Conjunction is a rare and awe-inspiring event, but the universe has many more celestial wonders in store for us. Mark your calendars, for the cosmos is always putting on a show. In the coming years, we can look forward to meteor showers, lunar eclipses, and even the transit of Mercury across the face of the Sun. These events offer a chance to witness the celestial ballet that unfolds above us every day. They remind us of the vastness and wonder of the universe we inhabit. Section 9. Embrace the Cosmos The Grand Conjunction is more than just a celestial event. It's an invitation. It's an invitation to look up from our earthly concerns. It's an invitation to reconnect with the vast and mysterious universe that we are a part of. So, as Jupiter and Saturn waltz across the cosmic stage, let us take a moment to appreciate the beauty and wonder of the universe we inhabit. Let us remember that we are part of something much greater than ourselves. Let us be inspired to explore, to discover, and to learn more about the cosmos and our place within it. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. 
share your thoughts and let us know what celestial events you are excited about.